we had a big meeting uh, Monday this week with uh, special education directors from school districts uh, all over the state. It was really a big group of people and it was a great view for us in the legislature on the challenges that they're facing right now. And they're all focused on individualized programming for special needs kids. I mean, they recognize that this is, you know, most of them are not gonna do well in the online environment, many of them, I should say. So given that we know this, um, that is the focus for them. The challenge is how do we find enough resources to be able to, to do what we know we need to do to really take care of them. So that's kind of the work that's going on. Part of it is um, a lot of advocating, certainly on my part and on others um, in the government to get the federal government to step up a little bit more here, um, and especially in this area. There's some pretty, uh, pretty severe requirements from the federal government in the IDEAS Act on what has to happen. And not that those are particularly bad in any way, but there's requirements for things that have to be done. And the agreement or the in the beginning when that was proposed, the federal government was gonna pay 40% of those costs. And instead we actually get about 14%. And so we have to make that up here. The state doesn't really have enough money to make it up either. The schools end up using general fund dollars to help offset some of that, which steals from everybody else. I mean, it's, it's a complicated financial environment that we have to also figure out. So these are big, hard questions, but we're putting a big focus on it and we aren't gonna let go. There are some bulldogs here and we're not gonna let go of this until we come up with some better answers. It's, it's not good enough to say we just can't. The best we can do, you know, those kind of words, not good enough.